with like no electricity, um, no warm water or anything. And we just drove there by car two and a half hours from Zurich in the in mountains in Bern, it's called Simmental. And um, yeah, we arrived here and um, our plan was basically to just get away from everything for some, for like one or two days and just get like deeper on, on meditation, on relaxation, did some yoga, did some qigong, and walks in nature. And we didn't, like, we put, we put our phones in the car. We left our phones in the car, so we didn't have any time. We didn't have any electricity, like, electronic devices, really. Um, and other than the camera. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, it's quite, it's quite fascinating. Especially when you think about not having time, just waking up, there's the sun. Um, that's kind of like making you realize it's day and when it goes down you realize it's night but you have no idea what time it is. And from then on we didn't have any time anymore. So it was like, it's kind of interesting how time blends in a way when you don't have it. Like, uh, it's just like everything blends. It's just one experience rather than like you have this time. Then it's like, oh, it's this o'clock. Now we do had to do this and that and whatever. But if you don't have time, you just do whatever it feels right to do. And whenever it feels right to do, like you go to bed, you wake up, you have no idea what time it is, how long you have slept. You just have to trust your own intuition. You have to trust your body. You have to trust your own self, like what feels right. Okay. Being in um, in nature, um, away from from stuff, um, is that actually you have time and you have space to notice what is going on inside ourselves because we don't have that much stimulation, and the stimulation we have is actually from nature. On the other hand, we're gonna only have to eat tomorrow anyways. Yeah, so like this, in, it's interesting, like if you, t you think about silence, um, like where I was really noticing the silence is when we were up in this, there was this one place where um, it's really up the hills in the mountains. You, it's so calm, like it's so, so silent, there's nothing there really. Um, in a sense of sounds, like there's, there's just you, sometimes you hear a little bit of wind or there's some water like in, in the far out there. But um, other than that, it's just very silent. And whatever you say, kind of like, it gets lost in this silence because you say something and usually you hear a lot back because uh, there's so, so many other sounds that you hear echo, but there it's just like you say something, it's just like nothing. It just calms you down, it kind of frees you. You know, it frees you from this inner turmoil in a sense. It kind of calms down your inner turmoil. And it's so easy to get deeper in meditation when just, when just in the silence and when in this nature. So don't look for peace as a state of the mind. 
take a step back. Recognize it as the nature of your mind. So when you wake up in the morning, no, it's just okay. <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna talk about that. But um, yeah, I think one thing that's very powerful as well, if you're with someone else that's also into meditation and into where you can exchange about about what you kind of learn through your meditation, it's something very 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 powerful as well because that makes you start th see things from another perspective in a way and also when you're meditating together it sometimes just creates yeah you, you, you get inside you get into a deeper space of calmness inside of yourself because so there's someone else meditating as well it just kind of makes it a little little deeper a little easier to get into the meditation oftentimes.